Now Abraham moved on from there into the region of the Negev and lived between Kedesh and Shur. For a while he stayed in Gerar, and there Abraham said of his wife Sarah, She is my sister. Then Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent for Sarah and took her. Boy, this story seems awfully anachronistic. <laughs> that at age 90, uh-huh. she happens to still be hot. Mm. To me, the, I think the reason why we have two similar stories in Genesis is probably because they were two separate documents from two separate time periods. And rather than mixing them into one strange document, which seems to happen quite often, mm-hmm. they just kept the two stories separate because like, well, the details are different enough that maybe these are two separate events even though I don't think anybody was buying that she was 90 and still booming. Right. Yeah. On the matter of why King Abimelech would try to capture um, Sarah Mm -hmm. at age 90. Right. Um, There was a Jewish commentator that suggested it was because Abimelech wanted to create an alliance between him and the family of Abraham, which seemed to be uh, kind of a large, powerful clan Mm -hmm. in the region. Um, But I find this to be a dubious reasoning on the account of the emphasis of her beauty being the reason for the taking. Yeah. And there's no mention of an alliance ever within the passage. Um, So it it seems to me that that's not a great... Uh, reasoning and plus we know from Jewish tradition um, that there were other theories uh, so for example um, in in the in the Talmud there was a theory that when the angels of the Lord visited Abraham and Sarah her flesh temporarily became young again Uh, So one uh, teaching says, um, after the flesh became weak and was filled with wrinkles, it became young again, and the wrinkles were erased, and her beauty was returned to what it was. So meaning, even though she was 90, maybe being in the presence of the Lord had restored uh, her looks. Uh, Another Jewish commentator uh, says, uh, it is shocking that Sarah could be so beautiful after being shriveled up such that kings would take her away. For when she was taken to Pharaoh, even though she was 65 years old, it is possible that she still maintained her figure. However, after she became shriveled and metapausal, this is a wonder. Perhaps she returned to her youthful looks as the angel announced to her following the interpretation of other rabbis, like the one we had just mentioned. Um, So even the, you know, the... The Jewish rabbis struggled to understand what King Abimelech and the Pharaoh saw in this <laughs> wrinkled, <laughs> admittedly wrinkled old woman. <laughs> How come Abraham didn't get younger? That's a really interesting. So, man, such a great point. <laughs> and I didn't expect to talk about circumcision again. But Neither I've, did I. Because of the nature of Abraham's function being the father of many. Mm-hmm. I was curious if circumcision had anything to do with um, assisting in the function of procreation. And if so, if God, in order to multiply Abraham's descendants, uh, felt that circumcision was a benefit, maybe it assisted in the, the sexual process then perhaps it's not out of the question that Sarah's beauty could have been returned to her into perhaps enticing Abraham to sleep with her as opposed to, who knows, another maidservant. Even though he did sleep with her. Right. With Hagar. First, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I guess what I'm suggesting is maybe when the angels visited Abraham and Sarah, maybe there was a miracle uh, that occurred um, that would make her attractive and beautiful for Abraham to, so that he would desire her and want to procreate with her. And maybe 
that makes sense as well of the circumcision bit in that the, the cir- circumcision was somehow thought to have been an aid to the reproductive process. Hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But also remember, okay, remember she was able to nurse the child. Oh, and you can't do that at 90, right? Well, theoretically, or, postmenopausal, or, you really can't be giving birth or nursing a child. So maybe her youthfulness really was restored to her. Yeah, because she did have to give birth, right? Right, That's right. It's an interesting point. And they don't have to do that for men because they can, you know, I mean, they can tone her, Tony Randall this, this thing up. Right. Yeah. I don't know who Tony Randall is, just, but... Just look him up. I f- I c- it's, it's a funny joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want to look it up right now? No, no. no. Oh, I mean, the okay. people watching this. Oh, sure, yeah. Anyways, the long and short of it was, um, if she was indeed beautiful, the only way to make sense of that is that her beauty was restored by yeah. some some miracle. I'm surprised they wouldn't have mentioned it, though, right? Yeah, you would think... That that would just be part of the story. It'd be mm-hmm. just like the fact that she was barren, and God performed a miracle for her barrenness. Right. Do you think it also would state that you know God, uh, you know, restored her youthfulness? Right. Unless maybe that's implied somehow in there, and and the old the ancient culture would have picked up on it, and we just don't because we we're in a different time period. Mm-hmm. 